Hello Tarot viewers, welcome to our Timeless Oracle Reading. And our Oracle card for today belongs to the Dream Reading Cards by Rose Insera. The card for today is entitled Journey. Do things in a different way. Take a new route. Believe your life is only part of one long journey. Be prepared for adventure. It's true, life is an adventure. And when we were young, we knew that life is an adventure. We, Every day we wake up, we open up with a certain sense of hope that today is going to be an exciting day. We live the present moment when we were children. We seize the day. We didn't worry too much about the past and we didn't worry too much about the possibilities of the future. We just lived the day. We just lived the moment. In this card, I feel the spirit of the first card in the major arcana, which is the Fool. When you look at the picture of the Fool, at least in the Rider weight, uh, the classic Rider weight cards, when you look at it, the fool is holding a flower in his left hand, which symbolizes a person who, who's just enjoying what he encounters along the way. It's a, f a freshly picked flower that maybe he enjoyed the scent, enjoyed the beauty of the color, and he was happily walking through a trail that is quite challenging, but there is a certain joy in him. He is also dressed in a way that makes him unique as a person. So in a certain sense, part of enjoying the journey is not being ashamed to be who you truly are. Part of enjoying the journey also is learning to stop for a while in order to smell the flowers. To seize that moment knowing that it will not come back again. Part of the journey also is to have the courage to allow yourself to be guided by the universe and marveling at the beautiful tapestry that the universe paints for us. Somehow also the card shows us that as we go through our journey, we need to take that pause to enjoy that sunrise, to enjoy that sunset. To enjoy the company of a friend, of a loved one. To have the courage to run after an inspiration. To have the courage to create new things. To not be afraid to commit mistakes. And to humbly accept when we commit mistakes and tell ourselves, I begin again. Our life's journey is a journey that will not come back again. It reminds me of the phrase, I will never pass this way again. And so the challenge for us is to love with all our heart, to live with all our energies, and to just allow the universe to surprise us every step of the way. Well, let's try to read from the handbook that accompanies this card and maybe we can get a little bit more inspiration, a little bit more positive energy towards living our life as an adventure and as a journey. Do not be satisfied with the stories that come before you. Unfold your own myth. You are about to embark on inner and outer journeys. Prepare for adventure. The destination is not evident, but you are getting ready for the next phase of your life. Be prepared for an eventful travel, traveling experience and risk getting lost or taking the scenic route with the full knowledge that you will reach your destination 
one way or another. It could be that you are about to take a trip to faraway lands. New horizons are opening up for you. Launch yourself into the experience and explore all possibilities. It is a time of expansion for you when you are ready to try something different. Stay out of your comfort zone. Adventure means taking some risk, but without it, life can stagnate. Drive the long way home. Travel to places that excite your imagination. Go on an inner journey and explore ways that bring you closer to your spiritual self. Experiment with pushing yourself outside your normal boundaries. Learn to access the divine with new practices. Drum with the women's circle. Meditate. Take up yoga. Attend healing classes. Draw angels. Chant. Smudge sage sticks. Build a garden. Make mud bricks and build your retreat. Listen to music for the soul. Do not hurry a journey. It is not a road trip. It is to be experienced slowly as it unfolds. And as it unfolds, will reveal your destination. Yes, so just seize the moment, seize the day. Uh, enjoy the journey, whether it be exteriorly or interiorly. There are times for everything. There are times when you could travel in the exterior world, and there are times when the divine will inspire you to also undertake an inner journey. So just take what resonates with you at this present moment, whether it be an external journey or an interior journey, and marvel at the wonders of life in every step that you take. Well, that's it for today. I hope it has helped you, it has inspired you, and it has set you on fire. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.